Hi, this is Jane at Coburn's. Welcome to the lake. Again, I took a couple days off. It's time to rest and relax. Now, I want to introduce you to a fruit that is unbelievable. It is our California peaches, fresh at Coburn's. And we're going to grill them. Half of the peaches I'm going to use over ice cream, and the other half I'm going to let cool, and we're going to make peach salsa out of them. I sprayed some oil on here before I lit the grill, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the peaches on here, and we're going to heat them up and get some grill marks going on. And now I want to make my rum sauce, and what I did is I've got some butter, some flavored rum, not the rum that you drink, flavored rum, some cinnamon, and some brown sugar. And what I'm going to do is just heat that up, mix it up, and so it gets kind of ooey and gooey. When your peaches release from the grill, then you know you can pull them off. This one doesn't want to release yet, so I know it's not done. So, but this one is, so I'm going to flip it over. And you can see that I've created the grill marks. This one is ready to go. I scooped up some fresh Kemp's ice cream and I put my peaches on top and I'll tell you what, there is nothing like hot peaches off a grill put on ice cold ice cream. Now I'm gonna add the rum. I'm just gonna pour it over these California peaches. The prime season is usually around the 1st of June through the end of September and I'll tell you what they are perfect for grilling for baking making those pies jams and don't forget canning in August I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all this then we're gonna get started on fresh peach salsa be right back I cooled off my grilled peaches and then I chopped them up and now I'm gonna add jalapeno peppers make sure you wear gloves when you're um, cutting up that jalapeno peppers because it can get hot and you can add as much jalapeno as you want according to your taste and heat level. Then I'm gonna add some sweet yellow onions to it. And I'm gonna add some garlic and chopped tomatoes. And then, of course, I'm going to add some fresh cilantro. You can't have salsa without fresh cilantro. And I'm gonna mix these up real quick. And then to top it off, I'm just gonna do a pinch of some sea salt and then a squeeze of fresh lime. And that's how easy it is and another option for fresh peaches. Now, last but not least, you always have to sample and you always have to make sure your product tastes good. So here we go. Mm. If this doesn't scream summer, nothing does. Mm. Enjoy. We'll see you in two weeks.